All right, let's do it. Let's conclude the campaign of Battlefield 1 in with Lords of Arabia. Arabia. An insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire, and they were rallied around the ideas of a single influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. Hmm. It's pretty crazy how, like, in a world war, you could have, like, a singular person who ends up becoming, like, an icon or a leader, and everyone looks up to them. Because that's what I mean, Lawrence of Arabia became world famous for his performance in this war. Al-Ajjar, Mesopotamia, Spring 1918. The Great War Engulfs the Globe. In the deserts of the Middle East, Arab tribes rebel against their historical oppressor, the Ottoman Empire. To counter the uprising, the Ottomans deploy their most advanced technologies. The Empire's devastating artillery, combat aircraft, and armored vehicles engage rebel forces wielding rifles from horseback. <laughs> T.E. Lawrence, an unconventional British officer, works with a small force of highly mobile rebels. They cannot confront the Ottoman forces head-on, and said they must fight another way. All right. The Arabian Desert. A vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil. The lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. Nothing is written. In the desert, you rely on good planning. But you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. Huh. What the hell is it? A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage waited for reinforcements. Rooftop hatch. When your enemy has better weapons and better equipment than you, steal from your enemy. <laughs> All he has is a knife. No weapon, just a knife. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Well, this will be interesting. Stealth! My favorite game mechanic! If only every game could be 100% stealth, I would just fucking play. That's how I would play. Seriously. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Idiot. Well, got his gun now. Ne diye buraya 
Yeah. Take them out one by one. There's a world of difference between seeing something and having it in your own two hands. <laughs> Got in. Search for the code book. Ah, yes, the Kama Sutra. My favorite book. Come on. It's over. Well, you did not think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Ha <laughs> ha! They were surrounded the whole fucking time. Actually, I was rather depending on it. He was over there. Hey, Lawrence. Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? A lady. How enchanting you are, my dear. <laughs> I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Oh, Even shit. Though, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Look at this fucking thing. A crazy tank. A tank on a train. Nowhere to hide. Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free. To die. <coughs> oh. <coughs> <coughs> she killed him. Zara. Oh, she didn't? No, she just cut it cut his ear. Zara. Now I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and <laughs> send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. Impossible. <laughs> To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, I mean, that one right there? <laughs> you can never stop the progress of machines. One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. Oh, 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 oh. Epic, epic music. Very nice. Of course, obtaining the code book was not enough. To destroy this iron dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans had named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. Damn, look at this thing. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. Damn. Oh, this is what I did in the, the beta. This was the beta. An isolated location for their desert outpost. Yeah, the multiplayer beta it took place in this town. Defended. <clears throat> it was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, 
three personal message capsules to be stolen, and then sent with our false orders. Damn. There's a lot to do. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. She quit. She didn't do it at all. The Bedouin who treasured their horses, and in return, those animals granted their riders <laughs> unparalleled speed and mobility. She ran right the fuck off the cliff with it! Yeah, she cher she loved to cherish her horse. Fucking runs it right off the ledge, breaks all its fucking legs off. Amazing. Oh my god, that was hilarious. Eliminate the commander. Eliminate the commander. <laughs> Eliminate him. See if he knows how to dance. His knowledge of fine cheeses. Is he dateable or not? Ask the commander. How the fuck do I know who the commander is? That's him. Time to eliminate him. They wanted me to seize the satchel, but didn't tell me until I was already jumping down. That's nice. Dispatch a fake message. Over there. wire god damn it oh my god there's a fucking flamethrower troop i really don't want to piss him off fucking shit i almost fucking alerted him too all right i'm good <clears throat> Go. Snap it, snack. <laughs> All right, one down. Yeah. All right, one down, two to go. Oh, fuck. This way. 